For years, all our world had known was war. The green versus the tan, good versus evil. One battle after another with no end in sight. That all changed when whispers started circulating throughout the barracks. Rumor was the Tan were working on something big. A super weapon. In response to this new threat, myself and five others were chosen for intensive training and experiments, with a seventh member to join us later. We became super soldiers, changed and deformed, no longer looking like the rest of our green brothers. They called us freaks, but we prefer being called the Plastic Platoon. My first day as a member of the Plastic Platoon was one that I'll never forget. Our flight to the battle was silent. We all knew what we were about to face. All those years of combat training could never prepare us for the real thing. I'm still amazed we made it out alive. Thanks to a little help from reinforcements, our mission was a success. We were able to obtain valuable intel on where the Tan were building their super weapon. We had to destroy it before they could unleash its full power. Coming off the success in the kitchen, our men were battle-hardened and ready for whatever the Tan could throw at us. I suppose it was the same overconfident thinking that led to one of the greatest embarrassments in the Green Army's history. It was codenamed Operation Infiltration. Defeated by the very thing we came to destroy, we were no match for the Transformer tank. It was a good thing they wanted the six of us alive, or else we would have shared the same fate as the rest of our brothers. The other five platoon members were taken to a tan prison camp where they would have to fight for their lives. The Overlord, however, had other plans for me. All I remember is waking up above the tan's new super serum. As it turned out, the super weapon was never a robot. It was an experimental serum that had the power to turn any soldier into a tan. I was the first test subject. The five managed to win the battle royale and were escorted to a tan testing facility. They were next in line for the Super Zero. If it wasn't for the seventh member of our platoon showing up, I'm afraid the story would have had a much different ending.
What is it? The prisoners have escaped. Ha, ha, ha. To you that may seem like bad news, but to me, it's good news. Because they are now going to lead us right to their secret base. Blood alone moves the wheels of history! Have you ever asked yourselves in an hour of meditation, which everyone finds during the day, how long we have been striving for greatness? Not only the years we've been at war, but from the moment, as a child, when we realized that the world could be conquered, it has been a lifetime struggle, a never-ending fight, I say to you, and you will understand that it is a privilege to fight. We are warriors. We must never acquiesce, for it is together. Together that we prevail. We must never cede control of the motherland, for it is Welcome back, gentlemen. Glad to see you're all still alive and in one piece. Sir, incoming transmission from the tan. Greetings, Green Army. Don't celebrate your daring escape so soon, for you have now led my entire army right to your secret base. Prepare to meet your doom. We're under attack. Gather all the troops immediately. Now let's set the record straight. There's no argument over the choice between peace and war, but there's only one guaranteed way you can have peace, and you can have it in the next second. Surrender. Admittedly, there's a risk in any course we follow other than this, but every lesson of history tells us that the greater risk lies in appeasement, and it gives no choice between peace and war, only between fight or surrender. If we continue to accommodate, continue to back and retreat, eventually we have to face the final demand, the ultimatum. And what then? We will have been weakened from within spiritually, morally, and economically. From our side, he's heard voices pleading for peace at any price, or better red than death, or as one commentator put it, he'd rather live on his knees than die on his feet. And therein lies the road to war, because those voices don't speak for the rest of us. You and I know and do not believe that life is so dear and peace so sweet as to be purchased at the price of chains and slavery. If nothing in life is worth dying for, when did this begin? Just in the face of this enemy? Or should Moses have told the children of Israel to live in slavery under the pharaohs? Should Christ have refused the cross? Should the patriots at Concord Bridge have thrown down their guns and refused to fire the shot heard round the world? The martyrs of history were not fools. And our honored dead who gave their lives to stop the advance of the Nazis didn't die in vain. Where then is the road to peace? Well, it's a simple answer after all. You and I have the courage to say to our enemies, there is a price we will not pay. There is a point beyond which they must not advance. Winston Churchill said the destiny of man is not measured by material computations. When great forces are on the move in the world, we learn we're spirits, not animals. And he said there's something going on in time and space and beyond time and space, which whether we like it or not, 
spells duty. You and I have a rendezvous with destiny. We'll preserve for our children this, the last best hope of man on earth, or we'll sentence them to take the last step into a thousand years of darkness. Sir, you need to see this. We need an airstrike down here immediately. You'll never catch me.
Buddy Deal, what's your favorite color? your assignments. Thick and Rip, you'll be leading Alpha Squad. Your main objective is to get to the base of the Christmas tree, while drawing as little attention to yourselves as possible. Once there, you will make your way up the Christmas tree. According to our intel, Bullseye has established his HQ somewhere inside the tree. You need to capture him. Scorch, Shrap, you will be leading Bravo Squad. Your primary objective is to take down the train that is protecting the presence. If you take down the train, the presence will be ours. Hoover and Lucky, you will be leading Charlie's squad. You will lead the rest of our army right up to the Christmas tree. Your assignment is to destroy everything that gets in your way. Good luck. Wow! What's this? This is the North Pole. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Where's the snow? Who are you? I'm Herbie. I was sent here from the Overlord. He said he wanted someone who was familiar with Christmas to make sure everything runs smoothly. I think we should call security. Good idea. I like to whisper, too. So, Herpy, how exactly are you going to make sure everything runs smoothly? First we'll make snow angels for two hours, and then we'll go ice skating, and then we'll eat a whole roll of Toll House cookie dough as fast as we can, and then, to finish, we'll snuggle. I'm in a store and I'm singing! I'm in a store and I'm singing! Hey! There's no singing in the North Pole. Yes, there is! No, it's not. We sing all the time! No, it's not! Especially when we make toys!
Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Give up, Plastic Platoon. You have been defeated. I have taken everything from the presents. I have ruined Christmas. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. How could it be so? Maybe Christmas, he thought, doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, means a little bit more. What are you doing, Bozai? You look like an elf. What did you say? Does Santa know that you left the workshop? You know, we're all laughing our heads off. Did you have to borrow a reindeer to get down here? You feeling strong, my friend? Call me Elf one more time. He's an angry elf. Look at you! <laughs> Probably should have tried to stop him. Sergeant, can you please explain to me what's going on here? We're under attack. What do you mean we're under attack? What was that? They've broken in through the front door. Pull up the security cameras. Look out! Last night, our secret battle mountain bunker was attacked. We suspect the Tan are involved. Your mission is to go in there and rescue any survivors. Kill anything you encounter along the way. Good luck in there, and Godspeed. I'm gonna ask this one last time. Who is the Overlord? I don't know who you're talking about. You're gonna regret that. We've brought in a new inspector to talk with Herbie. What are you gonna do to him? I'm going to give him the good cup, bed cup routine. Answer the question! I haven't the faintest idea who the Overlord is. It's an idiom. You, sir, as an idiom. Now, unless you want to spend the rest of your life in prison, you will answer the question! I'm telling you, I don't know who the Overlord is. You disgust me. I'll be right back. I like you. I'm going to help you. You and I are going to make a great team. Uh, did you 
you guys hear that? Send for reinforcements. So does that mean you want us to go? <sighs> we need to split up if we want to find survivors. The good cup, bad cup routine is working perfectly. You know, usually two different cops do that. You know what we do to prisoners who don't cooperate? We hook them up to the box. What is uh, the box? Idiot. Like this, I take one electrode, I put it here. I take the other one. I put it... No one over here. Nobody over here. Oh, oh! We gotta get out of here. It might be too late for that. It's a dead end. Hello there. Hey, look at this. You guys could use a hand. Now come on, let's go. We gotta find the others. It's a trap! We meet again, my old friends. This time, you will not escape. As soon as my Lego minions destroy you, there will be no one left to stop me from destroying the entire green army. <laughs>
Quick, barricade the door. Uh, how are we gonna get out of here? Look up, we can escape through the vents. Wait, if we escape, they'll continue to chase us. We need to destroy them from the inside. We can place down remote charges and detonate the entire bunker, killing every one of those Lego creatures. I just need to activate the detonators. You guys go on ahead. Come on, let's go. Well, that's not good. Hoover, what are you doing down there? We gotta get out of here. Something's not working. You go on ahead. I'm right behind you. Hoover, come in. Hoover, get out of there. The charges aren't working. I know what I need to do. Where's Hoover? Mr. Overlord, sir, your plan failed. Only one member of the Plastic Platoon was killed. Ah, oh, my dear boy, that was exactly my plan. Soon the entire Green Army will bow down before me. Commander, you need to see this. Quick, warn HQ, we're under attack. Go warn the base. Rest in peace, Hoover. You're the only reason we're all still alive. He truly was the best soldier in the Green Army. He may be gone, but he will never be forgotten. Members of the Plastic Platoon, you are under arrest. Do not resist or we will open fire. Hey, you 
They never said why we're under arrest. You're under arrest for the murder of Hoover. Hey, what's going on, Captain? Why are we in jail? Because you guys killed Hoover. We didn't kill Hoover. You were there. He saved our lives. Yeah, what's going on here? <laughs> Have you really not figured out who I am yet? Colonel Blitz? Oh, you do remember me. Then you'll also remember how I used to be a colonel in the Tan Army. Until you guys took it away from me and left me to die in prison. But I have escaped and disguised myself as a green captain. And once this base is captured, I will surely be promoted for my heroic actions in the Tan Army. Now if you'll excuse me, I believe we are about to have visitors. Wake up, soldier. You need to be constantly watching for tan ships. Yeah, but we're never under attack. See, I told you. You might want to look at this. Quick, warn the commanders we're under attack. The base is under attack. Wow, I cannot believe that news. That's not possible. This base is top secret. Yeah, it's not like someone disguised themselves as a green captain and alerted the entire Tan army of our location. If you don't believe me, come see for yourself. Gunners down here. Thanks. We need to be very quiet so no one sees us. How did you traitors escape? We're not the traitors, you are. That's absurd, I'm not- I don't care if you guys are traitors or not, just help us defend the base.
do in general? You guys go, I'll hold them off. Where should we go? There's no green bases left. No, there is one base left. Now go! Where should we go? We have no idea where the last green base is. We're going back to where it all began. I finally have the last piece of the puzzle. The beginning of the end starts now. Do you know what this is? Hmm. It's a map from the old days of the Army Men War. Long before you guys were around, there were five armies. The Green, the Tan, the Lego, the Indians, and the Knights. It was the Green and Indians versus the Tan and Lego. The Knights were keepers of balance, not peace. In the Knights' possession was an amulet that had the power to summon a dragon. When one side became too strong, the knights would use that amulet to restore the balance. Eventually, all four armies grew tired of the knights' tyranny and decided to work together. According to the legend, the dragon was killed and the knights and the amulet were locked away deep inside of a mountain. Their location was kept a secret until now. I'm sorry, but we cannot help you. You need to leave now. If this is true, you don't stand a chance. The dragon will kill you all. Well, we have to try and retrieve the amulet anyways. It could be the only way we win the war.
Once I have the dragon amulet in my possession, there will be nothing to stop me from finally destroying the green army. According to the map, the entrance should just be on the other side of this battlefield. Look, there's the amulet. Hey guys, look at this. Is that Hoover? We need to go save him. But the amulet is right there. We never leave a man behind. Now come on, let's go. No time to explain, we gotta get out of here. Hey guys, look at this. Ignore them, fire at the castle. He found us.
<laughs> uh, hey guys, long time no see. I know we've been arch enemies for years, but before you arrest me, let me explain what's going on. If you remember about three years ago, I was captured during Operation Infiltration. At the time, the Tan were developing a super serum that could turn any soldier to their side. The first test subject was me. At first, the serum appeared to work, and I had no control over my mind or body. But as the days passed, my tan paint began to chip away. As I slowly regained control, I learned that the tan were afraid of something. Something that had only been talked about in myths and legends, but never anything we believed was real. So what were they afraid of? There's been... sightings. Of... monsters. Monsters that are ten times the size of the giant death robot. And in the last few weeks, they've been getting closer. They used to stay far away from our borders, but something has changed, and the Tan believe an attack is imminent. Because of this, they've improved the Super Serum and want to test it on the Green Army. As we speak, the Overlord is marching his entire army to the last Green Base. But there aren't any Green Bases left. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure about that. I've been very busy in my free time. Welcome to the last green base. Uh oh. Enemy approaching! This is it, men. Welcome to the final battle. Dick Scorch and Shrap, you need to stay and defend the base. If our line of defense falls, all hope is lost. Rift, Hoover, and I will be going on the offensive. The Overlord is sitting in his giant death robot, letting his goons do all the work. I say we bring the fight to him. Lucky, you're the best pilot in the Green Army. We need you to escort our dropship to the landing zone. After that, you need to distract the Dragon until we can get to the Overlord and take the amulet. impressive don't worry we've got a wall set up that should slow them down please tell me that was not the wall idea was it to put that button there?
Uh oh. In the name of the Green Army, you are under arrest. Surrender now and we might let you live. <laughs> if it isn't my old apprentice and his little friends, here to save the day. I must say, Bullseye, I'm very impressed with this little army you've managed to build for the Green. It's too bad your soldiers didn't quite live up to their reputation. No. So I do believe it'll be you doing the surrendering. Don't worry. If you give up now, I promise we'll not shoot the rest of the mighty plastic platoon. Do as he says. I am a man of my word. You will not have to watch your friends get shot. You will, however, get to see them burn. Cowboys never die. They just ride off into the sunset.
How long we've been in this darkness, I'm not sure. A great teacher once told me that the man who counts down the days is the man who wastes his life away. Instead of focusing on the unknown, I've been focusing on what we do know. I know there's something out there, something in the void that can give us answers. When those answers will come, I do not know. All I do know is that we'll be ready.